What's going on, everyone? It's October now. It's the Halloween season. It's time to start talking about Halloween. And this week, we are going to rank the actors who play Michael Myers. Which one's my favorite to least favorite? That type of shit. Very original. I'm the first one to come up with this idea. You're welcome. Yes. Feel free to make your own ranking of this, and I won't sue you for copyright infringement. I will let you make your own list. So, let's talk about the Myers, the actors. Which one's my least favorite? Starting at the bottom, how many are there? Like eight? Number eight, I think, whatever, it doesn't matter. My least favorite is Chris Duran from Halloween H2O. Not only is this one of my least favorite Halloween movies, not only is it one of my least favorite masks, because there's four of them, but this is my least favorite actor to play Myers. This guy played Scream in he played Scream. No, he played Ghostface and Scream. I always call the killer in that Scream for some reason because the movie's called Scream. But he plays Ghostface probably a lot better than Myers. I don't like the way he walks. I don't like the the masking. The masking isn't helping his his performance at all. Even if he gave, gave like a great performance with just one mask, it probably still would just not be good. I still would not look at it as a great thing. I think the script plays into it also. Like, he doesn't get any great moments. There's hardly any... Like, this is the Myers that I wouldn't mind chasing me down the street. Because he would just be walking with his head down. Just, the, like, the way he, like, stares down. Like, he does this weird head thing where he's, like, staring, like, with his head tilted low. Like he's, like, a lion hunting, like, a gazelle or something. It's just, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the whole suction, like, the eyes like the mask like sucked to his face and like it's like a big old hole around his eyes like i said the mask thing is not helping him out he has barely any screen time in this movie it's a short movie too i think it's the shortest halloween and he's in it for like 15 minutes at the most he does nothing memorable doesn't bring anything that new to the character it's just not a great performance i'm not gonna shit on it for too long i think you get the point i don't like it just not a fan of it so moving on to number seven i believe brad Laurie. Now, what holds this guy up above Chris Duran is that he actually has some great moments in this movie. Not a great movie, probably the worst in the franchise. If you ask any Halloween purist out there, any Halloween Michael Myers fanatic, they'll tell you that this is the worst movie. But hardly anyone puts him at the bottom, I don't think. But if they do, it's just because they hate the movie. But he's got one mask, at least. and But he's got great moments where he's like chasing that one girl down like that tunnel. There's some cool like visuals of My like the way Myers walks in this movie is way better than Chris Duran. He's more brutal. He's got more strength the way he like slices that girl's head off with one, just one swoop. And the, the guy he like puts up against the door of nice. He just goes and grabs two more and stabs him again. Just little things like that add to Brad Lloyd's performance to that Myers I think is way more intimidating and does more than Chris Duran does. Like this Myers probably would have killed that girl and woman in the bathroom. Chris Duran's Myers did not. Uh uh. This Myers would probably fuck them up. So yeah, that, that puts him above Chris Duran. So moving on to number six, Dick Warlock. This is the zombie Myers of the franchise, the one that walks the slowest, has no emotion whatsoever, and just and I think that just weighs it down. Like he could have put some pep in his step. Walk a little faster, buddy. The way he just walks through that plate glass window. He also does some things that I'm just like, that doesn't seem like something Myers would actually do. The way he actually like puts like an IV into this nurse and just lets her, all her blood drain as she's like tied to the, the, ta the table. I can't imagine Myers doing something like that. It's a stupid thing to point out, but I just don't see Myers doing that. It's, it's the same mask as part one, but just... There's some Myers, Nick Castle-like moments at the beginning when he's stalking. He's walking through like the alleys, the, the back, the backs of the houses. But that's really my favorite moment. Really, only one of my favorite moments from Dick Warlock. I'm not a big fan of his like at the end, like swiping away. It's just a weird zombie-like Myers, and it just bugs me when I watch the movie. So that's why he's all the way down here at number six. Moving on to a Myers that most people probably put at the bottom because they don't like the movie, and that is Don Shanks from Halloween 5. This Myers actually has a lot of great moments. Say what you will about the script, I know it's terrible, it wasn't even finished when they started filming, but there are some great moments from this Myers. He feels the most stalker-like since Nick Castle, the way he's hiding in the closet, he's hiding in the bushes, he's hiding in the trees in the background, he's, ch he's stalking them with his car again, he's 
chasing him with his car. He's gripping that steering wheel real tight, and he like stares at Tina with that new mask on. Just the way his eyes look, very intimidating. I like the way he, uh, the mask I know sucks, but we're not ranking the mask, we're ranking the actor. He's got some great moments where he charges through that door, just axing it, or stabbing it with a butcher knife, and he throws that cop out the window, stabbing that garbage chute, or whatever that was, a laundry chute, chasing like Jamie Lloyd, just grabbing up at her, trying to get her. This is an intimidating Myers. He's very strong, very brutal. Not the most brutal, we'll get to that. But I don't think it's the bad Myers. Everyone says that he's not, he's forgettable and he doesn't do anything. I think that's Chris Duran, not Don Shanks. Don Shanks does a good job. So number five, I believe, Don Shanks. So number four goes to George P. Wilbur from Halloween 6 and Halloween 4. This actor, he got two opportunities, so that helps him a lot, but which one do I like him the most in? Well, I like the brutality from him in part six, the way he just twists that one guy's head all the way around. He's got a lot, of that, that massacre and the theatrical cut. In Halloween 4, he does a lot of, like, I think George P. Wilbur has the most body count, and not just because he has two movies. In both of his movies, I think he has the highest body count out of all of them. Just the way he walks, he's walking across the street in Halloween 6, you got that rock and drum beat playing in the background. He's got a great mask in 6, er, a great mask in 6. I don't like the whole like cult controlling him things, I don't like that about it. But just a very good performance by him. I would want him chasing me the least compared to the other ones. So, moving on to number 3 I believe. Top 3 baby. Tyler Mayne from Rob Zombie's Halloween, Halloween 2. This is probably, next to James Drew Courtney, the most brutal Myers. He grunts, he even talks at one point in the director's cut, DIE! Psh, stabs Loomis. Just, I love that added characteristic to Myers now that he can actually like make noises and grunts. He's just a pissed off guy. He's not a supernatural person anymore. He's an actual being. He's a hobo in part two, but in this, I like him more in one and aspects of him in part two, like that dream sequence. I don't like the whole movie after the dream sequence of Halloween 2. I'm just not a fan of that Myers. But the dream sequence of Halloween 2 and Tyler Mayne in Halloween 1, he's the tallest, so that really adds to the intimidation. He's the most violent. He's, he stabs a lot more. <laughs> Overall, just a very intense Myers. He's definitely the most intense and psychotic of them all. So, number three, Tyler Mayne. So, what's it gonna be? What's number two? What's number one? Am I gonna go with the original, the classic, the William Shatner mask wearing Nick Castle? Or am I gonna go with the new, modern, mix match of both Tyler Mayne brutality and stalker Nick Castle-like qualities, uh, James Drew Courtney from Halloween 2018? What's my number two? Nick Castle. Hear me out. I'm not gonna just pick the original because it's the original. I really like what Nick Castle brings to the character, his breathing, his walking, his stalking. It's definitely one of the most creepy Myers because of that alone, the mask. He's got the walk down. He really set the template for what Myers should look like and walk like, all that stuff. And he does a great job, like the way he walks down the stairs and he's chasing after Lori. All those iconic moments. He's got a lot of great iconic scenes. But there's just, some, there's just some things that I prefer about James Drew Courtney. I'm not taking anything away from Nick Castle. I definitely love what he gave to the role of Myers. But there's just some things, some things that I prefer because I like a brutal Myers too. And that's why you saw Tyler Mayne so high. But he was missing that stalker-like quality that James Drew Courtney has. So yes, I could sit, I could talk all day about how great Nick Castle is, but I'll just let other people on YouTube do that too. You can go. Look at any other video and they'll praise him for hours. So that's all I'll say about Nick Castle. Great Myers, but not the best. I think James Drew Courtney just etched him out, just edged him away from the number one spot just a little bit because he's got the perfect blend. He's basically like Nick Castle and Tyler Mayne got together and they created James Drew Courtney because he's got the stalker-like qualities and vibes that Nick Castle had with the brutality of Tyler Mayne. The jack-o'-lantern head, 
There's a lot of great moments from Halloween 2018, just walking down the street. He's a big question mark in this movie too. You don't know what his motives are, just like Nick Castle is back to square one, clean slate, all the other ones don't exist. So it's just, he's a question mark again, he's a mystery. What What's in his head? He makes me wonder the most. Like, I'm just very curious about him in his mental state. Like, he's just been sitting there for 40 years, and then finally he's just like, out. So he's more patient than Nick Castle. Nick Castle could only wait 15 years. This guy waited 40. And then he's just brutal. He's just brutally murdering everybody. Doesn't give a fuck. Just hammering people in the background and just destroying that guy's jaw. Like I said, just brutal. I love this Myers. He's got the walk down, the breathing, a great mask. Just an overall great performance by James Drew Courtney. And I hope that he will be returning in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. I haven't been staying up to date with the latest news because I don't want it spoiled for me. I feel like they're just going to be like, here's the new face actor who's going to be in. Here's a set photo. Here's the new mask. We're going to be doing this. And it's like, I don't want to see it. Here's what the first scene's going to look like. Here's how we're going to open it up. It's like, I don't want to know. Shut the fuck up. It just keeps popping up. Every time I go to Google.com, it's like, here's the latest info. I'm like, no, stop it. So yeah, just I, staying away from that. I don't know if he's going to be in the new one, but I hope and pray that he will get another chance and maybe even more people once they see him at it again the second time will agree with me that he is the best Myers. Like I said, not taking anything away from Nick Castle, great, but James Drew Courtney is hands down my personal favorite Myers. And that's my list of the actors who played Michael Myers. What is your ranking? Put it in the comments below. I'd be curious to see what yours is. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and you can become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, I'll feed this thing.